Hey guys, this is the brand new webcam by AI Coco. It's called the Smart Live Stream Cam. It's a 2K webcam, which actually has gesture control to follow you around the room. I'm pretty excited to try that out and showcase to you guys how that works. At the time of publishing this video, this comes in at $160. Check out the link below to find all of the latest information about this brand new webcam by AA Coco. It's the first webcam they've ever created. I think they've done a great job. And let's get going and set this up with my laptop and showcase to you guys how this works. So in the box, you have just these three items. You have yourself the USB-C to traditional USB-A cable, the user guide, which is quite a nice glossy black instructional manual. You have Chinese and English on both sides. Then you have the webcam itself. This is a very high quality wide angle webcam. And like I mentioned, one of the key features of this is gesture control. There's a couple of LED indicators, green and red, that will appear on the left-hand side to showcase when the gesture control is active. This is the lens. This actually flips 21 degrees upwards and downwards. Just at the back here, you have to twist this the other way around to unlock it. And the webcam itself rotates 180 degrees, which is absolutely great to cover the entire room of whatever you're recording and a 2K resolution, and it works at 25 frames per second, which I think is great. The quarter inch thread at the bottom there allows you to mount this on a tripod if you don't want to put it on top of your laptop or your monitor, which is also an additional benefit to have. And just on the side of the mount there, you have your USB-C port to connect this to your laptop. So this is plug and play, and you don't necessarily need to use the USB cable that's provided. If you have a MacBook Pro like myself that doesn't have the traditional USB-A ports, then you can just use any USB-C to USB-C port and connect the webcam directly using that. It's compatible with both Windows and Mac, so plug it in and connect it to your settings on whichever app you're using. I'm gonna showcase to you using Zoom as an example, and it will just appear in the settings to select this. So let's go ahead and do that now and showcase to you guys how this performs. Right, so you can see I've mounted this on my tripod here, and this is a very convenient way to mount this if you find it a little bit difficult for it to be steady and hold you know, in place on a very thin screen like my MacBook Pro there. So one thing you'll notice is it moves itself and it doesn't center it. Don't worry about that. Once I connect the USB cable directly to my laptop, this will automatically center itself, which is another great feature to have. So before I connect this, I'm just going to use the inbuilt webcam on my MacBook Pro and showcase to you an example and a comparison of the difference that this 2K webcam makes compared to the kind of internal webcams of your laptops. And I'm also going to showcase the difference in the audio that comes from the internal microphone of my MacBook Pro and also from the internal microphone that's inbuilt into the AI Coco stream cam. So let's go ahead and start off with an example from just my MacBook Pro. Okay, so I'm taking a screen recording here using Zoom. I've got my internal webcam and my internal microphone used from my MacBook Pro. If I didn't have a very good source of light, you can really see how grainy and you know how unsharp the quality is. It's very poor, and I generally don't use internal webcams for when I'm having meetings at home. I think this is a very great comparison to showcase to you guys the difference it makes by switching over to the stream cam and using the 2K quality web camera on that compared to any other internal webcam you guys may have on your laptop. But also have a note and a listen to how the audio is because this audio is coming directly from my internal microphone of my MacBook Pro, which generally I think is a very good microphone. Let me go ahead and just mount this now onto my MacBook. There we go, I'll just do it like this. I'll connect my USB-C to USB-C cable and it will automatically appear as a selection under my Zoom settings. So switching over from my FaceTime HD camera to the ACM SC1 C2K, which is the stream cam, quite a long name. And there you have it, a big difference in quality straight away. So now let me go ahead and record a video and use the internal microphone as well from this stream cam which is set to microphone AS interface. 
So let's go ahead and see how that sounds. Okay, guys, so now the audio is coming directly from the stream cam and the video is coming directly from that as well. Immediately, the quality is so much better. I've noticed, you know, it's quite bright behind me, which is why it's, you know, quite sharp there on my face. Just to showcase to you guys how it will look by just dimming the light a little bit and don't have so much harsh light coming directly from behind the stream cam, how good the quality is. So let me go ahead and make that switch. There we go. That's so much better. And, you know, how clear is my background, the room? One thing you'll notice as well is when you do use this webcam, you get the AI Coco watermark added to your recordings on your screen. It's a nice touch. I'm not sure if there is a way to actually get rid of it or that's always there no matter when you're using the webcam. But you'll notice this every time that you have a meeting with your colleagues, that would be there in the background. I don't mind it, it's not even too noticeable, but the main functionality of this webcam is of course the gesture control. And I'm going to showcase to you guys how that works now. But from an audio perspective, I've never been a fan of internal microphones on webcams themselves, unless you're very, very close to the webcam. My MacBook Pro audio sounds much better with the internal microphone on that. If you have an external USB high quality microphone for your meetings, I would also prefer that. But one thing I use nowadays is something like this, which is a very high quality headset for taking meetings. This is by Jabra and I use this with the microphone inbuilt onto this and it's super high quality. So if you are going to use StreamCam to move around, you're going to need an external microphone anyway because you're not going to be that close to the webcam. So something like this would be great. Just to showcase an example of the audio difference in conjunction with this webcam, I'm gonna switch over to using the audio directly from this. Okay guys, now the audio is coming directly from my Jabra headset. You can hear immediately the difference between the internal microphone on this webcam and something like a headset like this. So for me personally, I always recommend that you use an external microphone, but just for solely the purpose of the video quality and the gesture follow features of this stream cam, I think is actually worth it. And I'm going to showcase to you guys now how that works. Okay, gesture controls. The first one to follow you is to give an okay symbol. You'll notice that the light on the webcam has now gone green, which shows that gesture control is now active. If I start moving around left and right, this can rotate completely 180 degrees, which is great. But if I move up and down, the lens on the webcam actually goes up 21 degrees or down 21 degrees. So you've got that 42 degrees of wiggle room for it to adjust to your position. So now let me go ahead and walk around the room. And you can see how well and how quickly this performs. It is super responsive. And I am so impressed with this. If I go hide behind a chair, it still manages to see me. That's incredible. You know, it's really trying to pick up my face. It has locked it into place. So when I come back into view, this is something that, you know, a lot of the webcams that I've seen that have gesture controls sometimes may struggle with. So AI Coco and the algorithms that they've got inside this, I can't fault that. If I go back, you know, the lens goes down a bit which showcases more of the room. And how convenient is this, especially if you want to present remotely, maybe you have a whiteboard on the wall, then you can take meetings just like this. You're a fitness teacher, you're running classes. There's many different scenarios that you can utilize this. Even if you're a gamer and you, know, you want to live stream to Twitch or you want to live stream to YouTube and any of your other social media apps, and you want to do a lot of things moving around, this will be perfect for that as well. And the quality of this camera, I really can't fault that. If at any point I want to stop the camera moving around, it's a very simple gesture. All I need to do is just hold my hand up as a stop symbol. The light has gone red on the webcam and everything has stopped. Now, let's say, for example, I am a little bit far away from the webcam, but I want my audience to see something a little bit closer. This actually has a zoom gesture as well. You give this symbol and it zooms twice. And now because I have the movement gesture off, I need to turn that on. So it repositions me in the center there. So now if I wanted to zoom back out, oh, it's a little bit too close and I wanna zoom out, then two times I have to do this. That's the first time and that's the second time. 
So two times digital zoom, it's really convenient. If I go back, let's see how the zoom quality is if I'm right at the back of the room. And it manages to pick out my gesture from this far away from my laptop, which I think is really great. How convenient is that for many different reasons? There's not many faults I can find with this. You know, as long as you have a very good microphone for when you are moving around the room, this is a great buy. And, you know, I definitely would see myself using this if I want to present something remotely to my colleagues at work. And if I want to move around and showcase different things, this can be perfect even in the office when you set it up in a meeting room, many different ways. And, you know, the way this works, I just feel like it's a great buy for anyone that is working in a remote environment. So I'll go ahead and stop the gesture, which is actually very responsive and it works pretty much instantly. And what more can I say other than I'm very happy with this and it's two thumbs up from me. So that's it guys. The AI Coco Smart Live Stream Cam comes in at just under $160. I'm super impressed with this. The gesture controls were very responsive. The quality of the camera, everything just works out of the box. I had no problem setting this up. There's no installation you need to do. Literally plug and play and you're ready to use it. If there's anything else you guys want to know about the capabilities of this, drop a comment down below. I have new tech videos out every week with cool gadgets just like this and new releases all the time. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.